Buongiorno. Um, we start with the, the question of the questions. It seems to be a never-ending never story. So when do you, do you see the end of the Sanremo and which form of this end will be? In, in, in a way, the pandemic has already ended in uh, several countries, I think, that uh, have achieved a pretty high protection of their vulnerable and elderly populations. Hopefully, I Italy might be one of them. Many other European countries like uh, Portugal, Denmark, uh, other Scandinavian countries uh, do have, uh, reached that, have reached that point, uh, more or less, unless we have some surprises from some new variants that are not covered by our vaccines or some other nasty surprise with some new variant uh, that uh, is more aggressive or, or more lethal. But otherwise, I think that uh, we have a mixed case where the pandemic has ended in some places, in some locations. Unfortunately, it is still raging in others, and it may continue for, for a while. Uh, it's unlikely that this virus will go away. It has probably infected more than 3 billion people, and uh, that means that we have a widely spread virus. We have a virus also that has animal reservoirs. We have a virus that um, uh, has a lot of asymptomatic infections and, and people just don't recognize that they're infected. Um, vaccination does not get rid of this problem. Actually, it may ma be making it even worse because people tend to have even milder disease, so even more likely to be without symptoms or very limited symptoms. So the virus is going to be around, but if it is around in an endemic form that doesn't cause more deaths, then uh, what has been the case uh, before its advent in uh, history, uh, and if it doesn't burden our healthcare systems, if it does not disrupt our lives, then I think that this is something that we can manage. We're, we're back to normality, we're, we're back to a situation that we can live with that virus. If we manage to eradicate it, I would be the most happy person in the world, uh, but based on what we've seen now, I don't think that that's a reality it's a little bit equivalent to asking to eradicate uh, the other coronaviruses that are floating around or influenza. And of course we haven't achieved that.